YouTube, what is up? This is Come to Japan, the channel that wants you to come to Japan. My name is Dan. Thanks again for joining me on another episode. Real quick, I'm gonna cover the goal of this channel like I do in every single video. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been here before, you heard me talk about it. But basically, the goal of our channel is to grow this channel large enough where this channel can support bringing someone to Japan for free and we can do it all we need is your likes comments and subscribes watch the videos and this channel will grow make revenue and we'll give back to the community uh the, the community that loves japan and we'll bring someone to japan for free so on this uh video i have um something that happened to me and i wanted to try to make a video about it and um you've heard about it in japan and you know literally you know, like the title said, I lost my wallet in Japan and I'm hoping that it comes back. Um, and we'll see if it comes back. This is just kind of the, the first part of it. Right now, as I'm recording this video, I have no idea if I'm gonna get it back. I don't have no idea if this video is even gonna come out, but I'll probably put it out and, um, you know, even if I don't get it back, I still wanna maybe put this video out there uh, and kind of talk about, you know, the culture of you know wallets being returned to japan uh and you've heard it quite a bit um that you know if you lose something if you lose a wallet or or you lose your you know something like it, it comes back to you in japan because people are very polite and they they turn it in so hopefully um you know it comes back to me uh if not well bummer we'll see we'll see right now i'm recording this um because i lost it this morning uh, we'll see. Hopefully, I would love to get it back same day, but you know, I don't know. They gave me a card. They said they'll call me if they find it. Um, and if they don't, I'm still probably going to put this video up at a little bit later date. I might be, you know, different place or something like that, but I'll give you guys an update on if it comes back to me. So, wish um, me luck. I hope I get my wallet back. If I don't, well, wish me luck. <laughs> hey, everybody. Good morning. Uh, I'm just giving you a quick update. I have some very good news they found my wallet it's the next day uh and i'm super excited and i'm gonna take you along to uh go pick it up and show you the ride i'm at the station right now it is cold kind of cool looking train right there but uh yeah we're gonna uh take you along the ride film um as much as possible but again i'm just super excited to get my wallet back it's awesome that it's being returned to me and you know, I don't think anywhere else in the world, unfortunately, I just don't think that would happen. You know, I think if someone in the United States found, you know, a commuter pass that, you know, they knew the value was like, oh, wow, you know, um, you know close to 300 bucks. Like, unfortunately, and if there's train tickets that they could, they, they could don't think that it would, it would be returned. So I'm just thankful. And I just, that's one of the main reasons why I freaking love Japan because of things like that. My train's coming. My train is gonna come and we're gonna jump on that train and we're gonna go uh, pick up my wallet, which I'm super stoked that I got back. And I'm, you know, when I lost it, I was kind of bummed, but I was like, dang it, you know, I'm gonna stay positive. Hopefully it'll come back because I know, you know, uh, in Japan there's, you know, it um, does come back. But uh, anyway, there's my train. I'm gonna get on it. Okay guys, so I'm not at the station where I'm gonna be picking up my uh, wallet, but um, I'm at a station that I, um, I use quite frequently, uh, Norikai. Norikai was basically transfer. I basically transfer trains at this station quite a bit. And it's one of my favorite stations because of the lighting. So look at this lighting. It's amazing, right? Look, look how beautiful the train looks like, you know, pulling away from me. Um, like I said, this is one of my favorite stations to come to because of the lighting. It's probably really loud, but, um, and there it goes there goes the train so like I said I really enjoy the lighting at this station and uh, another funny fact that this station um, is called audio audio so it's like the cookie audio it's spelled different it's spelled I don't know if you can see I don't know I'll uh, I'll put a clip in there of, of the sign there but it's spelled o r i o audio so audio but uh, in English we say Oreo, so wow, that's loud. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll catch up with you in a sec. Oreo, 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 Oreo. Oh, there's another train pulling out. Ooh, bye bye. Where do you gotta go? Where are you going? Like I said, I'm just always impressed with the lighting at this station. It's just beautiful, beautiful lighting. 
at this station. And I think it's because they have these, these awesome windows here and um, you know, whatnot. So anyway, audio station. あ、すいませんちょっとお年物を取りに来たんですけれどもあ、そうです。まだ来てないです。まだ来てないですか。まだ来てないですか。あ、そうですか。あの、電話があってなんか届きましたって言ってましたけど。あ、届いたんですか。
which is uh, really cool and that's definitely Japan for you. So, uh, all right guys, I'm super excited that I got my, let me put this away. Super excited that I got my wallet back, my, my uh, express pack back. Um, and it's just amazing. It's just amazing that it came back because I know anywhere else in the United States or some other countries, it just unfortunately just doesn't happen. So again, awesome. I'm not saying go out there and drop your wallet on purpose <laughs> because that'd be crazy idea. Uh, I don't know if it would have been a different case. If it would have been, you know, my actual wallet that had like money in it, I'm sure it probably would have came back, um, but probably the money would be gone. I don't know. You've heard stories about people, you know, losing their, their wallets and literally every single penny coming back, every single yen coming back. But you never know. I think it's case by case. And, uh, but I think the probability, I, I was pretty sure the probability was like, really high that uh, it was gonna come back to me so anyways guys uh, I'm gonna cut it off here uh, this has uh, been an awesome journey and I'm glad I got to film this video uh, I don't want to do it again honestly I don't want to, uh, to lose it again it really was it really wasn't that much of a situation but it's just I don't want to lose it again right I, I just don't want to I was worried and I did actually have to, to pay a little bit extra to ride the train, so I, just, I don't want to do that ever. And the couple of guys that were working at the uh, the Lost and Found Center, they were hilarious. They were really funny, um, you know, and really helpful. And uh, they just made it like better um, for it. And I would imagine most times when people go in there, like, to be honest, I bet it's actually a pretty fun job because, you know, at least for me, because when I went in there, I was stoked. I was, I was in a really good mood because, um, I got my thing back and I think maybe that bleeds into to you know their job and they were pretty happy and cracking jokes with me too in Japanese and and whatnot you know so I would imagine you know I was probably some kind of upset people that that go there but I don't know like when you get your stuff back I, I, I'm pretty sure most everybody's pretty cheerful so all right guys this is come to Japan the channel that wants you come to Japan. My name is Dan. Thanks again for checking me on this episode. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Check out some of my other videos and we'll grow this channel. We'll bring someone to Japan for free through this community that we're going to create on this channel. All right, guys. Bye-bye.